fucking. Yeah, I see you pointing over here, motherfucker. <laughs> Come out the bed and shit. He's like, he looking at the tree and he has his trunk open and uh, pointing in my direction. All right, here we go. <sighs> Just one of them things. Just one of them things. Let me get past these people. And then I'll uh, start talking. I <laughs> told yeah. How are you supposed to get? Yeah. Anyway. <sighs> Heading home. You know, I came over by Pamela this morning because she had to go, and um, at least that's what she said. She said she had to uh, go and drive her car for like 50 miles or something like that because she left her hazard light on. Okay, so I got here early. And uh, did you think she leave to go and drive the 50 miles so she can go and get her car inspected? Nope. And today was supposed to be the last day. Right? <laughs> That's what she told me. You know, she was calling me, man. What was it Wednesday? Calling me, calling no, Thursday, actually. You know, and she don't, like I said, I don't get a phone call from her unless she wants something. Okay, and so she was calling me and calling me, telling me how she uh, left her hazard light on, and you know today was the last day for her to go get her car inspected. So because she left her hazard light, okay, because she left her hazard light on, you know she had to. Um, you know, she, you know, which is when her battery died. So that means that because her battery died and she had a, she got one of those jumper things, those portable uh, jumper devices, device, I should say, not devices. She had to go and get, you know, the car, car inspected today. When I got here this morning, okay, all of a sudden she's like, "Oh, my uh, my stomach is 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 not well," and blah blah blah, you know, and all this stuff, right? So you hear the sirens? Yeah, there's an ambulance. I'll tell you. So. I have not heard an ambulance for since probably like around three or four o'clock today. It is now uh, ten o'clock, right to be exact. Left Pam's house, and now I'm here in an ambulance. So for a whole uh, what is it? Six, almost uh, seven hours, right? And this is a Saturday. A whole six or seven hours, no am no ambulance, no sirens and nothing. Okay, until I left her house to go home. <laughs> See how that works? Okay, and I'll explain to you guys exactly how that works and what it is that they're doing. Look at these two. They got the light, but they just stand there like a bunch of zombies. Okay? Alright? So they walked into the intersection. Waiting for the light to change. Light changed and they still standing there like a bunch of zombies. Okay, so... Let me tell, explain to you guys why uh, the ambulance came, was waiting. It was basically waiting, okay? Because again, they love to do that. Oh, let's see if he's going to stay or let's see if he's going to leave. Okay? Because of the type of subliminal message that they try to send. Very, conf very confusing. Which again, I don't pay attention to most of it because, you know, I go because... 
you know, there's no need for me to be there. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. And yeah, you guys seen this, you know, I've showed you the state of our house. And she wouldn't even, the last time I was there because I had to, uh, the kids was off. At least, not the kids was off, but Ethan's school was closed because of um, what she told me was a uh, power outage. But it wasn't a power outage. One of the, uh, someone in the school got COVID, got tested positive for COVID. So, again, I don't know why she's lying to me. You know? I don't know why she is lying to me about that situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, because what she fails to understand is that I, whenever something like that happens, I get an email. You know? I, I, I get an email. So again, you know, when you have people that will just lie, look at that, look at these rats, what, look at them, two rats, big, look how big these things are, <laughs> those are New York rats, okay, oh, now they cross the street, no, 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 no. Now, now they, now they cross the street, all right, you see what I'm saying, now they, now, now they cross the street, you tell me you you crossing the street to, to get a cab and you could have got a cab right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the mini cabs pass by. Anyway. All right. So while I was on the bus. We had a white guy there, and we passed one of the streets, and they had two white police officers, okay, standing up on the sidewalk, looking into the bus, and so the white guy stuck out his, uh, stuck out his thumb at me. <laughs> uh, and I was like, okay. Like I said, I know what they're up to, what they're about. And how they use our women against us. How they use us against our women. And we're walking around here as if, you know, there's not a war going on. Dr. Uma Johnson says. And we're not even smart about it. Uh. Alright, so, as I was saying, yeah, that's how they use other people against you. You know, all the age of that was by Pam. And like I said, you know, it's her telling me about, uh, you know, how she has to go do this and that. And I get there today, and I guess she had to change the plan. You know, she was like, oh, I'll take the ticket, you know. I'm like, really? <laughs> you know? This is, this is somebody who, uh, I remember one time I got a ticket and she was upset. Oh, you got a ticket? I'm like, but I'm paying for it. You're not paying for it. Okay, and again, you know, it was because of all the times I was so tired. Uh, we had went out and I was so tired, you know. There's all the police. But yeah, over there, over here. See the sirens over there? I mean, the lights, flashing lights. One just went uh, ahead over there. Yep. And so, uh, you know, I was tired that night, you know, being targeted and getting home, getting late, you know, late. So I went to, um, and it was a Saturday night too, actually Sunday morning. It was like about, maybe about three, three o'clock in the morning. We, had, we were getting back. And, um, 
I was just so tired that I, I read the sign wrong and I got a, a, a parking ticket. She was very upset. Right? <laughs> I was just like, why are you upset? I'm paying it. You know, that was surprised today. She was like, um, well, you know, I guess I'll just, uh, you know, take the ticket. I'm like, really? You know, if you get a ticket tomorrow, you're going to get a ticket uh, on Monday also, right? So unless you're planning to take off from work or you know that your car is not going to be ticketed for whatever reason, you're not worried about it. Okay? You know, and I, I was just like, wow. So I, came, I was I was there and I went into the kitchen and she was watching the video about schizophrenia. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. And then she, all of a sudden she's like, oh, she's, she's talking. Oh, I can't find this and find that. That's crazy. This crazy, that crazy. You know, those sort of language. Because again, like I said, we all know in a Carissa Persuasion program what it is that they do. Okay. That uh, if you, the, 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 the victim or the subject, don't do what it is that they want you to do, you know, they'll run the homeless theme, they'll run the homosexual theme, they'll run the, um, you know, the take away your disability theme or whatever, or get you fired from your job if you're working, you know, or they'll run, again, the mental illness theme. So, you know, they, they're in nothing that they haven't done that I don't know you know what I'm saying there is nothing all right I know their program like the back of my hand and the shit don't the shit is not working and because they're in the authoritative position they can label you right again they can label you so that's that you know, really, like I said, I don't give a shit because, again, uh, I tell you, everybody, everybody in this society is crazy. I think if you're if you're a black person, and if you're a white person too, white supremacy got them thinking crazy. Black people being subjected under white supremacy and religion got them thinking crazy. This woman today talking about Jesus. I say black women are the most religious-minded women in, on the, in America. Okay, and they have the worst outcomes. Okay, us, them and us black men, us, us two groups, black women and black men, the worst outcome, but the most religious. The, the shit is mind boggling. I'm not saying you, but people in general. Uh, so, one thing I forgot, as I was saying, when I was on the bus, uh, right before the bus passed that block we had the two white police officers on there someone set off an M80 right <laughs> and so uh, I just have to uh, include this because in case if I didn't I probably would forget about it so I remember it and uh, yeah anyway so you'll see the theme again the white guy theme see here <laughs> Look, 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 you're going in this building now, uh, crossing the street, look, <laughs> you see, police, all right, so like I said, you guys keep seeing, you guys can see the pattern, it doesn't happen every single day, or even every week, but it's there. It may happen once a month, once every two months, once every three months, but it's definitely there. And it's consistent from the time I came out of the bank, right, walked to, walk to get the bus, police car driving by, no siren, just the lights flashing. One parked up, lights flashing, and now you see here, I don't know what is it about this spot. Well, I guess because I walk down the spot all the time, most of the time, you know. Sometimes, if the bus, uh, it depends on what stop I get off of. If it's the local, if it's the express, if I get the express, I, I walk down here. If I get the local, I walk down the other block, the next block down. So, yeah.
Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I was talking to another TI who, you know, and it's a good thing. Uh, you know, I, I, it was, I said, it's a, it's a shame. It, actually, let me tell you how evil these people are. Not it's a shame. They're just evil. That they can do this to you, experiment on you, damage you, not just physically, not just neurologically, not just psychologically, you know, not just emotionally, okay? And not just your name, your image, your reputation. And it is to try and destroy you in every single way. And when you stand up to them, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, in every way, it is to totally destroy you in every single way. All right. I remember reading somewhere, and I've been looking for that article ever since. Uh, it talks about uh, when people do things to people, particularly those in power, and how they destroy them in every single way totally so that they don't ever get the opportunity to exert revenge back. Right? So they take away all of their, 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 their resources. It's, it's war. It's warfare. You know, so I understand that, and um, you know, so it's, uh, so it's, it's to that they can never fight back, you know. And as a black person, and not as a, as a TIA, but as a black person, that's what they do to black people. This is why black people can never have economic uh, equality. Or even a, a economic independence because of white fear of what black people will do and again that's their fear black people are not thinking about that shit they are all right i just have to go into the store uh get a mango pepsi it's become one of my favorite uh drinks <laughs> yeah i haven't had i kind of detox myself from soda So there'll be a, a few days I go without it, you know, I just drink water, I'll have tea. All right, anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, so they, this is, you know, I, I, and I can't, for the life of me, I cannot remember where I read that article from, you know, this was a very long time ago, okay? And, uh. You know, I think what a lot of TIs want to understand, black, white, Asian, uh, Hispanic, what have you, whatever. Whatever ethnicity or whatever color you want to call yourself, whatever, uh, you know, whatever group you want to call yourself. Uh, you know, it, it, is, it, is, it is warfare. You know, and I, I know you guys hear me talk about, you know, uh, black people all the time because I'm black, but poor white people to poor whites, it's a war against you too. Well, poor white people, it's a war against you too. And you, and you have to understand that those wealthy white people, they don't give a damn about you too, they don't give a damn about us. Okay, but they use your, your skin color, the idea of white supremacy and, 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 and your skin color, you grabbing a scratch. Yeah, I see you, bro. I guess you don't care. That's all right. Got you on camera. So, that's okay. <laughs> you know? Like I said. Anyway. You know, when you, th when you develop these, these, these weapons and, and do this, what, you think it's just for black people alone? Just remember, eugenics. The American Eugenics Movement. It wasn't just about exterminating black people, but also poor white people. Okay, though the 
the, the, the main focus ended up being black people, but it was also poor white people. And also people who had uh, uh, any sort of psychological or neurological issue. Okay? And this is that was the foundation of the Nazis' eugenics program. Taken from the American eugenics movement. You gotta remember that. Alright, let me... Uh, I got to pause this video because... I might get a copyright strike. <laughs> so let me do that. I'm home anyway. Okay, so in the house. So as you can see, as I'm coming, walking up my block, guys, you just in all black, uh, you know, grabbing his crotch. He lives on his block. But this is what they do. They get these people and they really believe in what it is that they're doing. Okay? Not even understanding what's really going on only what they've been told right not even thinking critically or saying but you know they can always give them money or what have you to participate in this this is nothing new you know i did a show uh i did a show i posted um uh, a, a video i posted this video before a few times um it's a youtube video of a guy named darren brown and this video was called mind control and you know you guys gotta look at it if you're a ti look up darren brown um mind control he has another video uh in which you'll see him uh using post hypnotic suggestion where he goes into stores he goes um you know to a place of business uh and buy things using uh sheets of paper that's cut in the shape of money but it's not money it's a white sheet of paper right but it's cut in the same shape as money and you'll hear him use post hypnotic suggestions and uh people will take that take the butt take the paper thinking it's money put it in a cash, re cash register he walks away and then uh afterwards they realize that it's not money okay now, this is done using hidden cameras so that you can see the people's uh, reaction and stuff like that. But it, it shows you how, you know, people can be manipulated in these things. And a lot of people don't think that they are. You know, some I was talking to this guy. He was like, oh, that's for um, weak-minded people. And I'm like, as a black person, like, as a black person, you, you know when you say that, you know, other groups of people consider you weak-minded, right? Because other groups will say, you know, uh, uh, I, I just don't get why black people living in America would put up with such things, you know, with all the police brutality, with all the racism, all that stuff, you know, and they'll say that because they're weak minded. But it's, it's interesting how black people don't think that they're weak minded. And I tell them, I said, it's not that black people are weak minded. OK, it is because we're just ignorant. There are a lot of things that we don't know, we don't want to know, because we've been conditioned and brainwashed. Okay, it's not it's not weak minded because anybody you can get you can get some of the stro if you think you know you're still strong minded, you know why don't you go to a hypnotist and see if he can hypnotize you. As a matter of fact, if you put five hypnotized hypnotists is sitting there, maybe one or two of them might not be able to do it, but maybe three or four, or even if four don't know how to do it. The fifth one will know how to do it. All right. So again, it's not, you know, people are not weak minded because they're being manipulated. Okay. The reason why they're being manipulated is because of ignorance, because they don't know. Once you know, then it becomes harder for you to be ma manipulated. But again, it takes people have to give you information. All right. And what is going on, what people are doing for you to have that, to have that knowledge. So you can recognize, understand, and counter it. Because if you don't know, you don't know. So again, we love to throw out the word "people are weak-minded." When, and again, even the most religious uh, black person will will say, "Oh, if uh, if a person is hypnotized or manipulated, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, other manipulated, manipulated, okay, they're weak-minded." But the very religion you believe in has manipulated you. 
has made you believe in things that is not real. Believe in people that is not real, that have never existed. So, that's the state of a lot of people, not just in America, in the world. And it is done by those that are in power, those that are that have money and power and have separated themselves from the rest of us. Okay? So, and it's in all societies. So, until people wise up, wake up, understand what's going on, you know, the world isn't going to be a better place. It might be better for a few people because, of, again, it is individualism, you know, that has been taught. So, you know, everybody have that, well, you know, if it doesn't concern me, I don't care. If it doesn't concern me and mine, I don't care. I don't think about it. But what they fail to understand, which is why you need to learn history, because history repeats itself. When people don't learn, when societies don't learn, when things are being repeated, when people are manipulated, they are going to be those of us who are going to speak out against it. They're going to be those of us who have been victims and will learn, adapt, and fight the system. You know, they understand this. This is why they work on these technologies for mind control, for manipulation, for all this, these things. Okay? If you look at what China is doing, a good example is to go and look at what China is doing to its citizens when it comes to technology. And you'll get a, a more clearer picture. In the United States, it's more covert. Okay? So, with that being said, I will talk to you guys later.